Today we come to a third section of Psalm uh, 119 and it starts in verse 17 and it tells us why we need to feed daily on God's word. Firstly, um, because we are servants and so we need to know our master's voice. Verse 17, be good to your servant while I live that I may obey your word. Perhaps you remember Eli teaching young Samuel uh, to speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And uh, we need God's word every day because we need to know our master's voice. Secondly, because we are students, uh, this is our manual for living. Verse 18, open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. We need God to open our eyes. Otherwise, the treasures within remain hidden to us. Remember a great saint once saying, um, quoted as saying, most people want to understand before they believe. But I believed in order that I might understand. So God's word is wonderful. His works are wonderful. His love is wonderful. Come to his word as an eager student. Thirdly, we need his word because we are strangers in this world. Verse 19, I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. As followers of Jesus, we find ourselves as strangers in a world that disregards God. We find ourselves trying to swim against the tide of the world's ways, morality issues, justice issues, loving people unconditionally, forgiving people, blessing an enemy. And so we need God's guidance as we walk a difficult path and a narrow path. And fourthly, because we come as sufferers, we serve a different master. We obey the law of Christ and we have our citizenship in heaven. And so we no longer conform to the world. And uh, the world opposes and persecutes as a result. And so, fourthly, we find ourselves as sufferers as we identify with Jesus. The psalmist refers to his persecutors in verse 21 as arrogant, who disobey God's word. He goes on and talks about them bringing scorn and contempt and slander. And so he needs wisdom in how to handle these difficult situations. And he found it in God's word. We are his servants we are his students, we are strangers, and we can face suffering. And he finishes by saying, let your statutes, God, be your, be my delight. They are my counsellors.